And this evening we have been playing this. Dice Conquest from WizKid Games. What did we think? Stay tuned to find out. So, Dice Conquest is a one to four player uh, co-op game where you are going to be playing one of these beautifully designed Ooh. heroes. It's a multitude so, of them. You've got um, sort of all your... This is set in the D&D &D world. So you've got the... And they are, and I'm allowed to say that because it's WizKids. So it definitely is Dungeons & Dragons. We are allowed to talk about it in its real form. So you've got your warriors. You've got your clerics. You've got your rangers, your rogues, your thieves. All of your standard heroes. Each hero comes with its own innate ability so that'll be probably swapping out dice changing the numbers of dice that type of thing and also because it's DD, &D, you've also got your crits um, each hero has got a different number that is going to be there allows them to use their sort of critical damage strike that will allow them to do another um, kind of additional action so that's your heroes what are you going to be doing well you are going to be fighting a huge raft of uh, evil creatures from the D&D uh, &D world that are trying to do you damage and each one of them has got a their own kind of value uh, health value that you've got to lay the dice on to the card until you get more that number or more and then you can slay that animal why would you want to do that well because you've got to kill them all and get down to the very last one um, the cult of storm who is a 50 value hero. Oof. That is huge, not hero, creature that you have to kill. Um, and a number of these you will see have got this sort of cream bit on the bottom. Cream. If, if you kill the goblin shaman, you then not just kill him, get him out of this array that you've got to get rid of, you gain a special item. You get the wand of blasting. Oh yes. And this, allows you to place the Wonder Blasting onto any creature and that'll do three additional damage. There's a whole load of different ones in there. There's ones that heal. There's one that, again, allow you to flip a dice, um, prevent somebody doing damage to you, go invisible for the round, loads of different things. Um, so you've got to work together, placing the dice. Um, each time you pick a dice, you can re-roll that dice. So you could pick a one and re-roll and hope. It's a full sort of standard D&D &D, uh, set. So you've got a D, a D, a D4, D6, a D8, D10, D12, D20. Uh, D20, and you also get the percentage dice. You've got all of those at your uh, disposal, and you have to use them and kill off the creatures. It's really that simple. Um, now, like all good co-ops, it shouldn't be easy, and it wasn't. This game did us in probably about three rounds in. Um, I made the mistake having, I'll be honest, I played it solo. I thought it was easy. I played it wrong. Um, so I thought, it's easy. Let's let's take the difficulty up. Let's add in the traps, which make it even more difficult. We pulled out three traps in the first two rounds, and they certainly sort of not ratcheted up the difficulty, and we <laughs> lost horrendously. But you shouldn't be able to win a co-op that easily. So in that respect, lovely little co-op game. Dice chucker, it's simple, it's not a click. there's nothing clever about this realistically, it's just a standard dice chucker, you're rolling dice, trying to get big numbers, and kill creatures, and pick up their abilities. But it was good fun, nice, simple, great start to a, a game night, check it out. Bearded lady here, and yes, am I going to mention the artwork? Of course I am. Uh, so, on the box art there, there it is. Uh, it's what you would expect from D and D, but again, the cards are nice. What I like about the cards is they're they're not your standard kind of poker size cards. They are the uh, tarot size, maybe yeah, maybe a little bit smaller than tarot cut sides, but nice a nice good size card. And yes, the artwork is brilliant. Check out this troll, fantastic, uh, love it. So really, really enjoyed that. Obviously, at the end of each round, if you haven't killed off whoever you're fighting, they will attack you back. So uh, the top right is what you have to get to defeat them. The top left is what is coming your way if you do not attack them when all those dice have been dished out. If one hero dies, you all die. We've played three player. You start off with only six lives. 
Um, so you desperately need to heal up and hope that uh, in the draw you will get some of those creatures that will give you uh, powers to heal up uh, so that you can continue on. Alas, we did get some healing ones, but not enough to uh, be able to prevent Pete Hits the King from departing. Cheers, <laughs> 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 Dave. But as Pete has said, this is a great little filler game. Very nice. Uh, great artwork. Nice components. Those dice are really pretty as well. Good times. Hi, Dave the Grey. Now, one of the great things to start an evening with is uh, the sight of Anne just going, which one's the D12? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I digress. We had a lot of fun today. Um, playing co-op, but to be honest with you, any time the word co-op gets uh, mentioned alongside a board game, I tend to go, oh, I wonder if you can play it solo, because apart from like these guys, I've got no mates, and my family <laughs> just, nah, no board games. So, I reckon this, alongside, uh, if you like uh, One Deck Dungeon, this is probably... Lighter in some ways, a bit more um, interesting, shall we say, with the cards uh, in others, because the artwork in One Deck Dungeon isn't really what you're there for. The artwork on in here, I mean, just even the skeletons, that's gorgeous to look at. This, you can absolutely play solo. You know, half an eye on the TV, maybe, because it's not the deepest and most complex of games, but if you just want a nice little something to pass the time, play two-handed, play three-handed, um, I can see myself playing this in front of the TV while uh, sat in the same room as uh, our last because, you know, doing things together. Um, <laughs> but no, a lot of fun. Not particularly big and clever, although if I played it on my own, I'd probably win more than playing it with. Whatever. Whatever. You, know. you rolled like ones on your first go. I did roll a whole bag full of ones <laughs> like early doors. And I forgot to use my special ability. So, you know. There yeah, was that. Team um, player! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, took us, what, quarter of an hour to play a game? Um, no real teaching time. Looks great. Can play it solo if you want. Absolutely top hole. Two thumbs up from me. Boom!